Well guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. I am a full-time reseller on the Poshmark app and I have been doing this for about a year and a half. That's how I make my money and that's how I pay all of my bills. I kind of wanted to go and get some inventory for a lower cost of goods, so I decided to go to the closest Goodwill outlet that there is around me, which is about two and a half hours away. And I'm not like super impressed about it, but I did get a few, you know, deals. You are paying by the pound, so we only have to pay like a dollar thirty per pound. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into the haul and show you all my great finds. All right, so the first thing that I got was this Simply Vera by Vera Wang, but this is a brand new with tags, and it was probably like fifty cents. You know, I got them at the bins. So I actually kind of like this. I like the little detail right here, which is super in um, style right now. It's really trendy, which is kind of like the little schoolgirl look or something like that, with like a button-down shirt, undress sweater. And it has cute little like cuff details right there. You can make like a little, you can tie it, make like a little bow or something. So I did want to go ahead and try out ThreadUp, which is basically a, an online consignment store. So I'm just going to go ahead and send this to them. I already sent a bag. I have not heard much from them because I think it takes like seven weeks to process. But um, I am going to send them this one and see how that does. The other thing that I found were these pair of shorts. I know we're not in the season once again, but these are a pair of brand new Lucky Brand shorts and they're a great style. So I just wanted to pick them up because who doesn't like a good pair of Lucky Brand shorts? Anyway, the other thing that I found, this was actually one of my last, last finds. Um, in the bins and this is uh, Drew which is a really good brand um, it's a pretty expensive brand but this is uh, just a really cute and I was surprised of how white it still is sort of like a waffle knit gauzy material this is kind of like a gauzy material and it has like the little flutter sleeves it is so so cute it's a size extra small it does have a little bit of a pull right here um, but that's not a big deal because I could just cut it off and it really just won't affect the fabric at all so I was excited about this one like I said it was my very last find and then this is just I believe it's a youth because it's an extra large I thought it was a cool little Nike pullover like hoodie it doesn't have the drawstrings it's kind of like a style that doesn't have one or the drop the drawstrings but it is a really cool like baseball fan or baseball player kind of pullover hoodie so I thought why not pick it up it was in really great condition there's no stains or rips or anything so I'm excited about that one now the other one that I found which I need to peel I need I need to shave it because it has quite a bit of peeling um, but it's really not that big of a deal because this is hundred percent cashmere and it's a Tahari which is um, a pretty expensive brand. It doesn't resell for quite as much, at least in my experience, but for like 50 cents, why not? And like I said, it only has a little bit of pilling, so all I have to do is just shave that off and it should be good to go. So it is so soft, perfect for the season. This is a size extra, extra large. All right, so the next one that I found, oh, I hope this lighting is not horrible. I've been trying to figure it out and I still can't figure it out. So I'm sorry, I will, um, I will figure it out for you guys <laughs> so you guys can get like a better quality of the video. But the next up is this really beautiful pattern, soft surroundings maxi skirt. And it has like a little side zip to put it on and this is a brand new it doesn't have like the actual tag but you can see the tag with like the little button right there and it's from soft surroundings this is what it looks like i don't i hardly ever pick up soft surroundings if i do pick it up i do want to make sure that it has some sort of a cool pattern or it's like some sort of a really like unique style or something like that that's you know trending so that was brand new with tags i decided to pick it up so the next one is this Lane Bryant size 22 it's like this really cool like cute little basic tweed skirt it's like a little pencil skirt just really nice and seems to be pretty cozy perfect for the season so I decided to give it a try 
there's that one. Now the next thing that I found there were these Mountain Hardware women's shorts. They're like this little checker or check, like buffalo check kind of um, pattern going on. And then it's a size 10. So these are perfect for like this summer. I'm not sure if they're gonna sell any time like right now during the winter. So this is just a really good brand to keep in mind whenever you go to the thrift store or any consignment store or anything like that, wherever you pick up your inventory, um, because it is a really good outdoor brand. So a lot of people like to wear mountain hardware, especially for like camping or hiking or anything that has to do with outdoor activities. So that's a good brand to keep in mind. Now this one, I believe it's, I've seen it in so many places. I've seen it on um, the, Posh, the Poshmark wholesale. I've seen it on like boutiques and stuff like that. So this is just a really cute, like distressed sweater. And it's a color block. So just really cute. I love the colors. They're so, so perfect for right now. Um, the fall and it's just a really trendy style. I've seen it everywhere. So this is from the brand Andre To be honest, I didn't even look up comps on this because I thought it was a great style and it doesn't have sorry about that and it doesn't have like any Anything like it doesn't have any pulls or you know snags or stains or rips or anything like that So I figured why not pick it up at least for $15. It'll sell. All right. This one. I'm actually really excited about because I might keep this one. This is from the brand that's called The Sack. That's what it looks like. And it's just a really adorable, like fringy sort of backpack. I love it so much. Look how cute. Like, you could either hold it like this or you can just put it on like a little backpack. How cute is that? It is so, so cute and it's pure leather. So I was just super excited about that one. I am very, very tempted to keep it, so I might. And if I'm not like super convinced about it later, I'll probably just put it up on my Poshmark, but for now, I'm keeping it. All right, so the next one that I found was this um, really cool, I'm pretty sure I've heard of this brand before, I just don't know where, and it's called Psycho Bunny. For some reason, I thought that this brand was from Dolls Kill, but I don't think it is. So that's something that I'm gonna have to look up. This is actually in really good condition, and like I said, it's just a really cute like pastel t-shirt. So whoever likes that brand, it is, oh my gosh, my hair is like making my nose itch. All right, next up is this A New Day from Target. <laughs> I just decided to pick it up because it's like really soft and it's in really good condition. Um, perfect for the season. So it's just a little v-neck sweater and it's a pretty color. So there's that, at least 10, 15 bucks, probably I'll get out of it. Um, I'll have to look up the comps. Now, the next one that I found were these Can Can, Can Can jeans. I was super excited when I found these because these sell so well for me and they sell for like, I don't know, 25 to $30. So these ones don't have any distressing, but they're in excellent, excellent condition. And they're high rise. So I don't know, if they fit me, I might keep them, unfortunately, but most likely they won't because I believe they're like a size bigger, so we'll have to see. But that was an exciting find as well. Now this one, is a paper crane which i believe is from uh, urban outfitters or anthropology something like that but it's just this really cute little balloon sleeve waffle knit perfect colors i love these colors like a color blocking as well super super cute very trendy right now so i figured i would pick that one up as well and then the next thing that I found, oh my gosh, I was so, so excited about this one because I love going to the gym and this is definitely something that I want to wear, okay? I'm just gonna show it to you and you decide. So it says, almost pulled a muscle by trying to give a F. So, I thought it was so freaking cute, I needed it. I just needed it for myself. I'm really excited about wearing this one. Okay, now the next one is this pair of Banana Republic, which is the black label. Banana Republic black label is pretty much the best one to pick up. I mean, you can pick up any other ones if you want, but I think I'm gonna send these ones in to thread up and see how they do there. 
And then the next or the last thing that I found was this awesome cute little blanket that I just kind of wanted for my house to make it look cozier. And it's just so cute and soft and fluffy. And I don't know, I really like the color of it, like the neutral. So I figured I would just throw it in there. And then the last but not least, because I love picking up this brand, Dance Goes. Okay, they still have like the little rubber band here. But Dance Goes is a really good seller for me. I love picking up Dance Goes. They sell pretty fast. I mean, relatively fast, not like all the time, but it's a really good seller for me. I love picking up Dance Goes, especially at the bins. These were in amazing condition. I checked to make sure that they don't crumble up because that's the one thing that you do want to check with Dance Goes sometimes if they're too old or too used or something they'll like crumble up if you like try to bend it so that's just the test the dance go test clock test however you want to call it um but yeah look how amazing condition these are these actually have like a little bit of like scuffing right there which is i would just go ahead and fix that and they will look brand new again so i i was super really really excited about these these are size 36 which would be about five and a half to six but yeah perfect fine all right so that was it for the goodwill outlet haul which is basically i paid 16 dollars for that whole pile um i'm really excited about it because i did get quite a bit of you know it wasn't like so much but i did get inventory which is what i needed for a lower cost of goods right this is a really good story this is not from the bins or these but i did want to show you these because these are great brands to pick up and also i was just like super excited about telling you guys this story of these dr martins okay so these dr martins are pretty freaking awesome right they're size five amazing 20i super tall like knee-high combat boots the Dr. Martens label is right there and their airwear like with bouncing soles, right? So these are freaking awesome. Not only that, they're vintage. <laughs> so I was so, so excited about these because first of all, I walked into the store um, with a mentality of I wanted to find something that was less than $10. It had to be something that was like really trendy or sought after. And then I also wanted to be able to sell it or flip it relatively quick for a good profit so when i walked to the boot section i found those dr martens and i was like oh my gosh i can't believe that these things showed up like seriously that's exactly what i was looking for not only that they're vintage like they can sell for i don't know at least a hundred dollars 125 something like that I was like ecstatic to find these. I think I only paid like $6.99 for them, so that was a great, great find. And that's the only thing that I bought that day. Now these ones are the only thing that I bought today when I went to the uh, to, to the thrift store, to Goodwill. These are Works. And if you haven't heard of this brand before, these are Works from Red Wing Shoes. Now Red Wing Shoes is a pretty expensive brand of shoes. So if you ever see Red Wing, Go ahead and pick it up because they'll probably sell pretty fast or for a good profit you know like i'm not maybe not like really fast but for a good profit now like i said these are works from red wing and i'm not sure how fast these are gonna sell i do know that hunting season is in the moment but i believe it's gonna be up pretty soon it's probably gonna be over um so i don't know i it's the first time i've ever found red wing shoes before even though this is like a different sort of I don't know they're hiking boots they're not like the actual leather shoes that i've seen before but i was i was really really excited about these i couldn't believe that they were red wing <laughs> they're just really cool and they're in amazing condition other than that little like spot on both actually both toes right there um i tried taking it out but it just wasn't coming out so i'm just gonna have to sell them like that other than that they're in excellent condition all right so that was it that was it for the haul i hope you enjoyed it if you do like this kind of videos go ahead and give it a thumbs up it helps me know that you actually enjoyed it and that you want more of these so if you want to leave a comment go ahead and leave a comment down below thank you so much for stopping by and i hope to see you in my next video go ahead and subscribe also if this is something that you're interested in because there's a lot more content coming um so thank you so much for stopping by and we'll see you later bye